Professor Daniel Levy, you are a surgeon and specialist in uh, neurosurgery. Uh, thank you very much uh, for uh, accepting uh, this interview. Um, I concern uh, by my case, who I investigate, and for that uh, I want to ask you, what is the iter to diagnose psychiatric problem? Uh, <clears throat> In especially the frontal lobe lesion. Yeah. Okay. Uh, obviously, uh, a psychiatric patient normally comes to a psychiatric, a psychiatrist, and a psychologist that will make the principal diagnose of the patient, and uh, then I come in. What happens is that every patient makes. Uh, uh, MRI to see that the anatomy and the physiology of the brain is functioning. And also I am shown by of the history of the patient. Okay, So when I see that I can uh, find symptoms typical of a brain lobe, I get a suspicion that it might not be working. So I go on investigating the not functionality of the brain. The typical exam to do this is the CT PET scan. And the, the nuclear imaging. It's not. It's more than nuclear imaging. Is the MRI. This is a, a, a CT scan. Yes. And it's a positron emission tomography. It's a completely different system. The uh, positron emission uh, tomography. It's important that people understand uh, your diagnostic. It's bad. On a Sorry. Not a problem. Pronto? Ciao Daniel, scusa il disturbo, sono Salvatore. Ehi, hey, ciao Salva, come stai? Ciao, sì, bene, bene, Daniel, ascolta. Eh. eh qui a tua moglie ha portato la macchina sì. per mettere le gomme da neve. Però le gomme da neve, voi ne avevate solo due adesso in riposto, perché due le abbiamo in casa. Eh, 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 cambia le, Salvatore, le hai? Sì. Sì, va bene, va bene, Salvatore. Dai, va bene, grazie. Grazie mille. Ciao. Sorry, but also this is family. I have problems with the winter tires. <laughs> I it, I took off the... No problem. I continue. Uh, uh, it's um, important uh, the people know the your diagnostic is put on the um, uh, nuclear imaging. Uh, that means it's uh, something like mathematics. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I was explaining that the PET scan is totally different. It's also uh, a very sophisticated exam based on quantum mechanics. But we're going to see different things. While with an MRI, I see the anatomy of the brain, that everything is functional, there are no damages, there's no ischemies, ischemies, there are no lesions, maybe brain tumors or so on. With the PET scan, I go and evaluate the metabolism of the brain. So it's two different things. And so a patient can have a, a normal MRI, but we see also areas that do not function, okay, with the other exam. And this is the case that happens uh, in, uh, in some cases where you see that the patient has a clear frontal lobe. And how you know this? Because there are symptoms of front, frontal lobe dysfunction. Uh, typical is aggressivity. Typical is the not ability to control proper, um, how do you say? Um, His emotions. Emotions, thank you. Um, and is not able to evaluate, especially the consequences of his actions. Okay? So, uh, for example, I have here a patient that had, uh, since he was a child, uh, some sort of disturbances. The psychiatric 
uh, showed me all his history and uh, it was a typical um, let's say uh, frontal lobe syndrome he had the inability to control himself this obviously was seen by specialists first of all from the psychiatric and then from the neurosurgeon but it was a very typical thing I understand that, uh, that in these cases uh, it's a multiple, multiple conditions um, physical brain injury uh, personality uh, disorders and uh, post-traumatic shock can you show us how look uh, brain uh, with uh, yes, uh, the frontal uh, uh, I must say, uh, yes, injury? I will, of course I will. I have here two examples of the same patient that uh, went, uh, evolved the lesions. Did not stop, but evolved. What uh, I must say is that uh, the CT uh, PET scan does not give a typical pattern of psychiatric disorders. This is not possible. Uh, the, uh, and so what it shows though is that some part of brains do not function. And that's uh, mathematical, it's not an opinion. This is the metabolism of that area that is not working. So sometimes, most of the times, we see that some psychiatric disorders with symptoms of low blood uh, syndromes do come out that have a typical lesion in the area where we suspect it. For example, the frontal lobe is the most common. Uh, is uh, the brain injury operable? No, the brain injury, once it uh, uh, has, uh, let's say, onset, then it's uh, irreversible. We're lucky if it stops. Uh, from the medical legal expertise, it's appeared that the brain injury has expanded from one year to another. It's something uh, irreversible. And this case, uh, in this case, is increased proportionally with age. What is the prognosis in this case? Uh, this is a very good question. Uh, actually, uh, we just started, I mean, in the uh, international literature, to study psychiatric disorders with metabolic, uh, um, I mean, let's say, is metabolic uh, uh, diagnose, uh, diagno diagnostic instruments. Uh, sorry. But we uh, see that this is a condition mostly that is evolving and it's very difficult to stop, okay? Uh, we do not have enough data to say how it will evolve, uh, but prognostically, when you have a brain lesion, this is not a, a psychiatric problem, mostly it's irreversible. Uh, the, if you're lucky, that's the most that will stop. The most that will do it will stop and it will not go on. Yeah. Uh, based on the current scientific uh, progress, can a person with such a brain damage uh, be recovered? Uh, are there any chance of they remain with a disability diagnosis for life? Uh, the answer, a short answer is uh, there is no chance and uh, yes, but uh, I must be more uh, specific. Uh, obviously, uh, what happens is that our brain is composed by circuits, okay? So when the circuits have a lesion or are damaged, uh, maybe if you're very lucky, they can be reconstructed, but you cannot put the same information that it was back. So it's a completely new circuit. So uh, I cannot answer totally because you know we're in the field of uh, the mystery of the brain, but it's very difficult to recover from a damage. Uh, this person, uh, other people can say it's normally in the um, contact. Uh, can you explain to us if a person with such a diagnosis? has full uh, discernment, since apparently he look and speak normally. Can you explain for everyone who could understand how can man manifest himself in crisis condition? Of course. Like the uh, uh, adversary uh, discussion. Uh, yes, because the, 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 the lesions, especially of the frontal lobe, are not uh, uh, 
in contrast with a normal life. I mean, he walks, he's kind, a person can also be um, very euphoric, you know, it's a very br brilliant personality. Uh, but this is the pathology, this is the pathology because he's un completely unable to control himself. So it's always exaggerated. If he's uh, brilliant, he's too brilliant. If, he's, uh, if he talks, he talks too much. And if he decided uh, to uh, go um, and do some action, it will always be over. It will, he does not have the limit. Uh, you tell me you can uh, show me how look a brave with yes yeah, sure damage. I have here uh, a patient uh, that was uh, in our uh, department uh, for a long time and uh, we have the lucky uh, experience to see that when he was recovered here there was a very few damage of the frontal lobe okay and then at uh, years of distance, he made a new CT scan and is able to see the very big difference and it's worsened. You can show if you want the uh, uh, I cannot lift it for okay. privacy reasons. I, I come... Uh, yes, but it's very, uh, it's very evident. This is the frontal lobe, left and yes. right, okay. And uh, so uh, you can see that here was the beginning. You see that the blue inside was very f little, was not much blue, yes. compared to now. This is a, uh, f uh, for a person with a brain injury, yes? yes with a brain injury, yes. And normally how? Uh, the normal is with all green. All green. Okay, I understand. It's like here, you see, because here you see the blue, it was low metabolism, the normal metabolism on green. No, and this is uh, the most performant uh, exam for this scientific the, exam PET. Yes, for, for this type of lesions, yes, because it's not an anatomical lesion, it's a functional lesion. Okay, uh, what is your opinion, uh, the people's who have this uh, brain injury, how can uh, uh, integrate in society? How uh, look uh, his, uh, his this, life? Uh, uh, I will be very honest with you. I cannot answer. I'm not a, a psychiatric. I can give you an opinion. Uh, but obviously, uh, when you have a brain lesion, especially of a lobe that is so important because it's the highest part of the evolution of man, the frontal lobes, certainly it will be very difficult, it will be a very long uh, road to bring them at least to cooperate and be able to live in a community. And uh, it will be a very long time. It's not impossible, but it's very hard. The place of uh, uh, one uh, of this person it's in a, a, a hospital or in a jail? Well, it depends, you know, I do not know what your... Uh, uh, no, I'm not a judge. Obviously, I answer as a, a doctor. For me, a person that is, uh, has uh, a problem, uh, everything must be done, especially because I belong to the Italian health system, which is a very good health system. And in these cases, we, the maximum uh, effort is done to try and recover the person. Okay, so obviously it's not a jail. Um, but every country has a system and I cannot give a, more than what is my opinion. Okay, thank you very much for your cooperation. Uh, Dr. It was Lee. a pleasure. Okay.